Once upon a time, maybe you heard about points and miles and how they could help you get some free vacations, so then you started following a whole bunch of points people on Instagram to learn more. But then it turned into somewhat of a spam fest of different accounts, constantly pushing out affiliate links and all you ever see anymore is here are the top 20 cards you should apply for please use my links and you would really like to learn how to get more points without opening 20 cards is that you if so here are 10 strategies for earning more points and miles that do not involve opening a new credit card tip one take advantage of strategic partnerships all large companies have strategic partnerships and airlines, hotels, and other loyalty programs are no exception. Some points programs allow you to transfer points and miles from other loyalty programs or double dip on points. For example, you can link your Hyatt and American Airlines accounts. If you have even a little bit of status with each program, you'll get AA miles every time you earn Hyatt points and vice versa. Hyatt also has a partnership with MGM Rewards and you can receive Hyatt Elite Night credits for stays at MGM hotels, which can help if you're trying to get enough Hyatt nights to get Hyatt status so that you can get things like free breakfast, late checkouts, free suite upgrades, and other perks. Many MGM hotels go for about $25 or $30 a night, which is much cheaper than a Hyatt hotel that'll cost $200 if you're trying to get some Hyatt nights under your belt for status. The downside with MGM resorts is that they usually have some kind of resort fees attached, which can cost more than the base cost of the hotel room. However, there's a way to get around that too. Once you've gotten 30 Hyatt nights, you have Hyatt Explorer status. And once you have Hyatt Explorer status, you can Google Hyatt MGM status match and match from Hyatt Explorers to MGM Gold, all from your couch online. And once you have MGM Gold status, you don't need to pay resort fees anymore, as long as you book hotels directly through MGM. You could book a $25 hotel through the MGM site, not pay any resort fees, and still get your Hyatt credits for it. It gets even better. You can get these hotel stays completely for free by playing some free games from your couch on your phone. All you need to do is search for the My Vegas app in the App Store. You'll get some free tokens each day to play different games. You could also buy more tokens, but it's not even necessary to do that. I just set it on auto spin. I don't even have to pay attention to it. Every day, I just let it run until I run out of tokens or I hit the daily max earnings. And then at that point, you're gonna get some gold coins that you can redeem for prizes, like free food, free drinks, free show tickets, or even free hotel rooms in Las Vegas and some other cities. So if we put all of that together, if you play the My Vegas game and you have MGM gold status because you linked your MGM to your Hyatt account and you were able to status match, that means that you get your Hyatt Nights credited for 100% F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free. If you're interested in more Las Vegas tips and tricks, we have a whole bunch of other ones for you in this podcast up here. Tip two, take advantage of hotel promotions. Obviously, most hotels are gonna give you some kinds of points and miles whenever you stay there, but there are ways to get a lot more points and miles or a lot more credits for each stay, depending on what promotions are currently available. Hotels are constantly running these different promotions. In 2021, I reached top tier globalist status with Hyatt by staying only 13 nights instead of the usual 60 that is required in a calendar year. How this worked was since it was during the pandemic, Hyatt had lowered the requirement from 60 nights down to 30 nights. And in January and February of 2021, they also did a double night promo. So each night that I stayed at a Hyatt counted for two nights at a Hyatt. I also already had the world of Hyatt credit card and that knocked another five nights off of the requirement. Therefore, I only needed 25 nights instead of 60. I stayed 13, 13 times two was 26. And then suddenly, since I had 26 nights credited and I only needed 25, I had globalist status. That came with free suite upgrades upon availability, free breakfast, 4 p.m. late checkout, and the ability to make guest of honor bookings for my family and friends. That means that whenever they stayed at a Hyatt hotel and I had booked it for them with my points or from my account, they would get treated like they had globalist status too, even if they had zero Hyatt status. Here's another example. Last year, I paid $200 to get into the Intercontinental Ambassador program, which got me a free weekend night, and also there was a promo to get me an additional 20,000 points if I stayed two nights at a Kimpton, and the free night counted for one of those two nights. So I paid $200, and what I got out of that deal was a free night at the Kimpton New Orleans plus 20,000 IHG points, so not a bad deal at all. Better yet, buying that Ambassador status extended my IHG Diamond status through the end of 2023, and IHG Diamond status comes with free breakfast and suite upgrades, and that's how we got the suite at the Kimpton in New Orleans. I'm not exactly sure if that $200 was intended to extend my Diamond status, which I also got through a glitchy status match, but I'll take it. Those two promos are long gone, but hotels do similar promos all the time 
All you need to do is check the promotion section of their apps. And if you're looking for a super quick way to get even more hotel upgrades, I do have a free hotel upgrade email template. My followers have used it to get free upgrades and amenities at hotels and resorts all over the world. And so be sure to check out the description and the comments for the link to that. Tip three, use a shopping portal when making online purchases. Many points programs offer shopping portals that allow you to earn extra points or miles if you're gonna make purchases from certain retailers through those portals. The best place to start to find the best portal deals is cashbackmonitor.com. You just wanna search for the store that you wanna shop at, and then you'll be able to find what portals and apps will give you the most cash back for that store. One of my favorite cashback apps is Rakuten, because if you have a credit card that earns Amex membership rewards points, you can connect Rakuten and Amex and cash out your Rakuten points as Amex points. This is really, really valuable, because if you get one Amex point instead of one cent cash back, I would consider that as getting twice as much value, since I can usually get at least two cents per Amex point when I transfer Amex points to redeem for different flights. Here is an even crazier way to get a lot of value out of Rakuten. What you wanna do is wait for this LifeLock deal to hit 95%, and that's gonna happen a couple times a year. Then you purchase the most expensive plan you can find. Here it's the Ultimate Plus Family Plan. It's got two adults and five kids covered. It's gonna cost $372 a year. You're gonna earn 95% of 372, which is $353.40. But if you link it to Amex, instead of $353.40, you're gonna get 35,340 Amex points, which is enough for a free flight to Europe, by the way. Amex points are generally worth about two cents per point, so the value from that deal is 35,340 times 0.02, or $706.80. Therefore, you just netted $706.80 minus $372 that you used to pay for that LifeLog deal is $334. Also, if you're going to be opening all of these accounts back and forth anyway, having something like LifeLock in place is probably a good idea. If you're new to Rakuten and that was all a little bit overwhelming and you're looking for a simpler Rakuten trick, check out the link in the description box or the comment section. If you use that link, you can get a free $30 gift card or credit to your favorite store. All you need to do is click through the link and then go to the gift card section of Rakuten and then get a $30 gift card. And then you should see your cash back is pending in your Rakuten settings. Tip four, use apps and websites that let you cash out points for travel gift cards. One of my favorite sites is Swagbucks to find different moneymaker deals. If you open Swagbucks and click on discover and then feature deals and then sort by max Swagbucks, you will find tons of different deals. For example, here's a deal with Allian where you can get 7,500 Swagbucks which is worth $75 just for opening a new savings account. Swagbucks are super liquid to cash out. You can have them pay you through PayPal, Amazon gift card, Visa gift card, and they'll even give you a discount on your first redemption each month, where most gift cards will only cost you 2,200 Swagbucks for a $25 gift card. There are a bunch of these moneymaker apps and websites and deals and other methods to earn more points without opening more and more cards. We actually have a free webinar called You Don't Need 20 Cards that you can come join if you'd like to learn even more of these methods. So make sure you check out the link in the description and the comment box if you would like to sign up for the free webinar. Tip five, use dining portals for easy passive points. Pretty much every airline has a dining portal and you can link whatever credit or debit card you use to pay for restaurants up to that portal to earn easy points. You can usually only link one dining portal to each card, but whenever you dine at a partnered restaurant and pay with that card, you're gonna earn easy points. To find your airline's dining portal, just Google American Airlines dining portal or substitute whatever airline you like most into that search term, and then you should find the link from there. In addition to dining portals, my favorite app to earn a ton of cash back on dining is Seated, which I used to use all the time when my husband and I lived in the New York area. You can get around 20% back in a lot of restaurants, and I've even seen some with up to 60% back offers sometimes. You can cash out your points for Uber, Amazon, Starbucks, and lots of other places. The easiest way to get a lot of points through Seated is to organize a group outing and then refer each of your friends to the app and have them make a reservation for one on their own. This is also going to save you from people who tend to flake a lot on your dinner or your brunch plans. You're gonna get a $15 referral for each friend who completes a reservation. So if you and three friends go out to brunch, that is an easy $45 in credits that you can cash out for travel or other stores. And then they will each get $15 as well. So in short, you are all going to get so much more cash back collectively if you refer each other and each make a reservation for one rather than one person trying to make reservations for the entire group. Quick note about the referral codes, please never sign up for these types of apps without using somebody's code because one, that's probably bad karma, and then two, you're probably missing out on extra bonuses if you do that. So even if you don't wanna use my code, 
that's totally cool, but please go find a friend and then support them, use their code, or you can search for the store of your choice on a site like Retail Me Not, and people post their referral codes there as coupons all the time if you wanna do a random act of kindness and use somebody's code there. If you would like to use my referral code for Seated, you'll get an additional $15 that way, and I have it linked for you at geobreezetravel.com slash Seated, which I also have for you in the description box and the comments. P.S. That Seated app is only good in certain cities, like New York, Boston, Chicago, Atlanta, Dallas, and Philadelphia. Let me know what city you're from in the comments, and I will find some special deals for the most popular cities that people are commenting from. Tip six, participate in promotions and special offers. Many points programs offer certain promotions or special offers that allow you to earn even more points and miles, so keep an eye out for deals like this and consider participating in them to boost your points balances. For example, there was once this American Airlines promotion on Simply Miles where people were earning 240 points per dollar by donating to Conservation International in 2021. Another example, there's this semi-famous story in the points world about Pudding Guy, where this guy David Phillips earned 1.2 million points by buying a lot of pudding. In 1999, Healthy Choice was running a promotion and offering 500 miles for each pack of 10 Healthy Choice barcodes. David Phillips saw some pudding cups on sale for 25 cents each at a nearby grocery outlet and he bought every case of pudding available in the Sacramento area. It was more than 12,000 servings of pudding. Eventually, his kids got tired of eating pudding. He and his wife developed blisters from peeling off all the barcodes to send in. So then he recruited members of a local Salvation Army branch to retrieve the barcodes for him. And in exchange, he donated the remainder of the pudding cups to the Salvation Army, which allowed him to receive an $815 tax write-off because it was a charitable donation. Obviously those two promotions are long gone, but let me know what types of points you are most interested in earning in the comments because there's probably a promotion to help you get a ton of points. Tip seven, link your apps. We mentioned linking Hyatt and American Airlines and Hyatt and MGM rewards at the beginning of this video, but there are tons of other partnerships like this. If you use Uber, you can link your Uber account to your Marriott account and your Air Canada accounts, and then you're gonna earn free Marriott and Aeroplan points with each Uber ride. Better yet, it works with Uber Eats too. If you have a card like the Amex Platinum or Amex Gold that comes with free Uber and Uber Eats credits each month, you can get free Marriott or Aeroplan points just by using up the benefits that already come with your card. Starbucks and Delta have a similar partnership where you can earn Delta miles whenever you go to Starbucks. You can earn points with Delta or British Airways for making Airbnb reservations. You can earn points with United or British Airways for making Verbo reservations. Delta has a partnership with Ticketmaster. Alaska Airlines, Delta, and Hilton all have partnerships with Lyft. IHG has a partnership with Grubhub, American Airlines has a partnership with Shell, Southwest and Alaska partner with 1-800-Flowers, Delta partners with Turo, Wyndham partners with Viator. There are a lot of these. Let me know in the comments if there are any specific ones that you would like for me to make a video about. Tip eight, book travel through a travel agent or online travel agency that offers points and miles for your bookings. There are travel agents and online travel agencies offering points and miles as a reward for booking travel with them. Rocket Miles is a website that lets you earn airline miles instead of hotel points for booking hotels. Let's say that you like staying at boutique hotels and you're not really brand loyal to any hotel chain, but you really, really like earning points with American Airlines. You could book your hotel through Rocket Miles and earn American Airlines miles, sometimes at an impressively high rate for those hotel bookings. Here's a next level tip. You don't actually need to stay at that hotel in order to earn the miles for that booking. Let's say that you need to earn some quick American Airlines miles or some of your miles are going to expire from your account. You can book a hotel night through Rocket Miles, and since the hotel is prepaid, you're gonna earn the points even if you don't actually check into that hotel. I did this for a Las Vegas hotel, and as an added perk, they never charged me the resort fee because I never showed up to the hotel. So with that reservation, I got my miles, Rocket Miles got their commission from the hotel, and the hotel got some free money without having to do any housekeeping or anything for that room. So I think that's a win-win-win. If you are liking these tips so far, please let me know by clicking on the like button and please be sure to hit subscribe for even more points and miles tips. Tip nine, shop around for bank bonuses and other bank benefits. You can earn a lot of points through credit card signup bonuses, but you can also get similar bonuses without opening a new card. We covered the Swagbucks promotions earlier in this video where you can often open a new bank account, maybe put $5 or so into it, and then you're gonna get a hefty bonus for that. Additionally, Amex had a promotion where you could open a business checking account, leave $5,000 in there for 60 days, maybe withdraw it from there if you want after that, and then you would get 60,000 Amex points. 
that promotion's gone now, but the Swagbucks ones are still up. Another banking trick to earn points is that you could park your money in a checking or savings account with Fast Bank, where you have the opportunity to earn either interest like usual, or you could opt to earn American Airlines miles on your checking and savings accounts. There are a good number of those bank bonuses going on at any given time. Doctor of Credit keeps a pretty updated list, which you can find by Googling Doctor of Credit bank bonuses. Tip 10, there of course is always the old fashioned way to earn points. Join loyalty programs for airlines, hotels, and rental car companies. Maybe take a flight or stay in a hotel once in a while. Crazy, I know. But you could also buy points directly through the loyalty programs whenever there's a sale on points, or you could buy points through points.com. Just remember, please don't buy these points just because they're on sale. Only buy them if you meet these two requirements. Number one, you already know how to use those points. Like you have a redemption in mind and you can see the award availability and you're not just buying the points speculatively. And number two, make sure that the cost to purchase the points is cheaper than the cost to just outright pay for the flight or the hotel stay. There is no use spending $2,000 to buy points to cover a hotel stay that would have only cost $1,800 out of pocket just to say that you used points and got it for free. We just went over a lot of different websites, apps, and tools in this video, many of them related to stacking different offers. If you would like to learn more about stacking offers to earn more points with each purchase that you make, check out this podcast episode. And if you have any questions about any of the tips shared here, please comment below. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.